she was fun. She was happy. She was. She had a lot of friends. She was just. A, she was a good soul. But even before that awful day came to an end, some friends of Stephen Karen Strom felt like they knew what must have happened. I received a telephone call. Everybody was just saying, "You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it." You know. They chased him. They followed him everywhere he went. Cops? Yep. I was with him. And that was that. Nobody satisfied. Certainly not Karen's sister Coco, who believed in her heart, like so many others, that Steve had gotten away with murder. And that decided Coco could not stand. Her big sister had been there for her growing up, and now Coco would do what she could to fight for justice. Twenty-seven years. Twenty-seven years, and I never left your mind. How could it? It's it's shocking. And it's your sister, somebody you love dearly. It's like. You, you go and think about it, and then you give up, and then it's there again. You know, it, it never goes away. Just like the lime green suitcase. Though all that evidence felt no emotion at all as it sat there gathering dust all those years. But now, as he contemplated imminent retirement, Brad Benson, now a detective sergeant, had come to believe, or to hope at least,